Today, we have an epic showdown in the ring with two of the most powerful fighter jets in history, the F-22 Raptor versus the Su-57. In other words, America versus Russia. Who will win? The most advanced plane in Russia's arsenal is the Su-57, a fifth-generation supersonic combat jet equipped with highly advanced avionics. The Su-57 has been in development since 2002 and was created to compete with the US's F-35 jets. The program was slow to get off the ground though. Prototypes tested in 2013 showed early structural cracks in the airframe, which required a complete redesign. The Ministry of Defense initially planned to acquire 52 Su-57s by 2020 and another 150 or so by 2025, but technical obstacles, economic issues, and international relations cut those numbers drastically. State news agency TASS reported that the Russian Air Force would receive 22 of these new and improved jets by the end of 2024 and a total of 76 by 2028. Right now, Russia has around 10 Su-57s in operation. The aircraft is a single-seater twin engine with a wingspan of 35 feet and a length of just over 51 feet. The Su-57 is the first Russian military aircraft designed for stealth. Its shape, materials, and features are intended to reduce its radar signature. The edges of the wings and control surfaces are angled to reduce radar reflection, and weapons are carried internally. The engine face is obscured with a blocker grid, and the canopy is coated with a metal oxide to absorb radar waves. The aircraft's radar cross-section, or RCS, is estimated to be about a meter. The Su-57 is powered by two AL-41 F1 augmented turbofan engines with full authority digital engine control integrated into the flight control system for maneuverability. The aircraft uses thrust vector control. The nozzle axes are canted to enable thrust vectoring moments in all three aircraft axes, pitch, yaw, and roll. The Su-57 has a top speed of Mach 2. But what about firepower? The Su-57 has multiple internal weapon bays for carrying different missiles and bombs. The main bays can hold missiles weighing up to 1,500 pounds, while the side bays use smaller launch rails. The jet can carry different types of missiles for air-to-air -air combat, such as beyond visual range and short-range missiles. For striking surface targets, the plane can carry precision-guided bombs and various kinds of missiles. It also has an autocannon with an effective range of about one mile. Plus, the Su-57 can carry stores on external hardpoints if stealth is unnecessary. Russia has been vocal about how much innovative stealth and avionic tech they've loaded the Su-57s with, though it's unknown how much of this was a pipe dream in the development and how much was included in the final design. Features include infrared search and track, infrared countermeasures, ultraviolet missile approach warning sensors, thermal imaging, and navigation and targeting. The Su-57 also has the ability to be used as a test bed for more advanced AI as Russia gains access to new tech. Now let's take a look at America's F-22 Raptor. The US Air Force has used this incredible fighter jet since the early 2000s, though development was decades long. The US has about 180 of these aircraft, less than its F-35s and F-15s, but still an impressive advantage over Russia's 10 Su-57s. The Raptor is a bigger plane, clocking in with a length of 62 feet and a wingspan of 44 feet, like the Su-57, the single-seater dual-engine aircraft is designed for speed, stealth, and firepower. The F-22 fighter jet has two unique Pratt & Whitney F-119-100 engines with hollow wide cord fan blades. The thrust vectoring is controlled by a digital engine control system integrated with the flight control system. But the Raptor only has two-dimensional vector thrust jets, affecting just the pitch. This makes it less maneuverable than the Su-57. With a super cruise speed of Mach 2, the Raptor can keep up with the Su-57 just fine. But the F-22 would likely sneak up on an Su-57 long before the Russian jets spotted it. The Raptor is a masterclass on stealth, with an RCS of just 0.004 inches. 
the F-22 was built to reduce radio frequency, infrared and acoustic emissions, and to be less visible to the naked eye. It has thrust vectoring nozzles that lessen the infrared emissions of the exhaust plume to reduce the threat of heat-seeking missiles. The aircraft also has a special top coat and active cooling to manage heat buildup during supersonic flight and further reduce the infrared signature. Now let's talk about the weapons. The F-22 has three internal weapons bays, with a primary bay that can hold six beyond visual range missiles and two smaller bays that hold short range missiles. It also has a 22 mm rotary cannon embedded in the right wing root. The main bay can be used to carry bombs, but the F-22 cannot self-designate laser-guided weapons. The F-22 also has four hard points on the wings that can carry external fuel tanks or air-to-air -air missiles. We don't know for sure what avionics the Su-57 is rocking, but we do know a lot about the Raptor. It has an advanced avionics system with sensor fusion, which provides the pilot with a combined tactical picture that enhances situational awareness and reduces workload. The aircraft has several critical mission systems, including electronic warfare, infrared and ultraviolet missile launch detectors, and an active electronically scanned array radar that can perform intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance tasks. The F-22 Raptor is a veteran fighter jet with years of battle-tested experience. The Su-57 is a brand new aircraft that's just getting off the ground. But if we put these two head to head, is there a clear winner? The US Department of Defense has adamantly denied Russia's use of advanced avionic and stealth tech that can match the F-22. If that's true, the Raptor will dominate in stealth. The Russian jets are more detectable and, therefore, more vulnerable. Let's assume these two fighters somehow end up in a dogfight within visual range. The Su-57 has a clear advantage over the Raptor in terms of maneuverability. This could help the Russian jet dodge missiles and position itself in an excellent firing position. Both planes carry two infrared guided missiles with comparable capabilities. Both jets also have the ability to carry a wide range of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. With the firepower of these two jets on a pretty level playing field, the advantage might be the Su-57 based on maneuverability alone. But beyond visual range, the Su-57 and F-22 are both equipped with supersonic speed capabilities and can fly at super cruise speed. They both possess internal weapons carriage systems that make them less visible, allowing them to carry missiles and bombs without being detected externally. Plus, both the Su-57 and F-22 come equipped with AESA radars with a low probability of intercept. Again, this comes down to the question of whether or not the Su-57 can really do what the Russians say it can. But given what we know about the Raptor's insane stealth capabilities, it's likely that its ability to stay off the radar and superior avionics would give it an edge. These two aircraft are both incredibly capable and powerful fighter jets. But aside from the actual aircraft, we have to consider a few other factors. First, the F-22 is a well-seasoned fighter whose pilots know inside and out. They've been flying these things for their entire careers and are amazingly well-trained. The Su-57s, on the other hand, are brand new to the scene. While new fighters allow for improvement, they also lack experience. Pilots are starting at square one and can't match the US in terms of training. In a combat situation, that's a steep disadvantage. We've seen before how advanced vehicles can quickly lose to their older counterparts when the logistics behind them are shoddy. Even if we assume that Russia recruits the best of the best pilots who get trained on the Su-57 so effectively it becomes an extension of their bodies, the fact remains that there just aren't very many of them. Russia currently has less than a dozen of these planes in use. The financial drain of their war in Ukraine will significantly limit how many they can acquire in the foreseeable future. The US Air Force has a massive advantage in terms of numbers, not just with the Raptors either. The US has nearly three fighter jets for each of Russia's. If the US were to find itself sharing combat airspace with Russian jets, the enemy simply wouldn't be able to compete. But Russia and America aren't the only countries with powerful military technology. 
Germany has a tank that can put America's pride, the M1 Abrams, to shame. We made a video all about it, so we'll see you there.